when you need extreme precision for calibrating multiple gauges and other instruments. Our QTVC volume controller provides accuracy you can trust. The QTVC can establish a solid static pressure within 5 ten thousandths PSI, or 0.03 millibar, and it's accurate from 0 to 3,000 PSI, or 210 bar. Let's take a look at its controls and operation. The interface is pretty straightforward and easy to understand. Going from right to left, we have the fill valve, which allows pressure into your test system. In the middle is the fine adjust piston, a non-rising vernier thread for dialing in precise pressure settings for calibration. Below that is the balancing valve, which equalizes pressure on both sides of the piston. And on the left is the vent valve, for bleeding off the system. On the top are three pressure ports, all on a common manifold so you can connect your reference gauge and up to two test devices. And on the right hand side is the system fill port to pressurize the system. Let's take a look at how the volume controller works. Before connecting your pressure source to the volume controller, be sure the fill valve is closed and close the vent valve. The fine adjust piston should be somewhere near the middle of its travel to allow up and down adjusting. Then pull the balancing valve out to the open position which will equalize pressure on both sides of the piston. Connect your reference gauge directly to one of the outlet ports. You can also use a hose to connect to an off-board calibration device. Connect your test hose to another outlet port. And cap any port not being used. Connect the other end of your hose to the device under test. On the fill side, connect a hose to the fill port. And the other end to your regulated pressure source. Now open your fill valve to pressurize the test system. With its soft Delrin seat, you can ease this valve open to bring your system to your approximate test pressure. Once you're close to test pressure, close the fill valve to isolate the test pressure. You now have static pressure on the test side. Now push the balancing valve in, which isolates the pressure between each side of the fine adjust piston. This allows you to adjust your test pressure up or down with extreme accuracy by changing the volume of the gas under pressure. Dial it in up or down until you achieve your first test point. When your calibration gauge is stable, perform your readings on the device under test and move on to your next test point. If you're moving up in pressure, first pull the balancing valve out to the open position to equalize pressure on the piston. Then open the fill valve. Then close the fill valve so you again have closed static pressure on the test side. And push the balancing valve in, closing it. Adjust the vernier. and take your readings. Repeat this process moving up the range until you're complete. Again, that's open the balancing valve, open the fill, close the fill, close the balancing valve, dial it in, and take your readings. If you're moving down in pressure test points, the process is very similar. Open the balancing valve, Bleed the vent valve down to close to your next test point. Close the vent. Close the balancing valve. Dial in your test point and take your readings. Once you've completed all your tests, here's how to shut down your QTVC. Turn off your supply and vent it. Open the balancing valve to equalize the pressure on the adjustment piston. Then open the vent valve, which depressurizes both sides of the volume controller, since the balancing valve is open. Now you can disconnect the hoses and reference gauge. If you should happen to depressurize the system without opening the balancing valve, this can create a large differential pressure between the top and bottom of the fine adjust piston, making it impossible to open the balancing valve. If this happens, simply turn the vent valve multiple turns to the left and it will vent off the piston.
Ralston's QTVC Benchtop Volume Controller provides a very precise pressure source for calibrating differential and static pressure instrumentation over a very wide range of pressures, making it an essential piece of equipment for your lab, but it's also rugged enough to be used in the field. For more information on all of our products, visit RalstonInst.com.